Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Mr. Della Ripa only likes to organize his stamps. Nothing else. Oh, if only he would dust those shelves of his. Welcome back to Fallout 76. It's time to do the other pit mission. Oh yeah. Why does it do this? Like... I got a veil of threat more Lando the other day to... Alright, alright. How come the refuge dailies don't reset or reactivate every day? Like, I'll have... I think this one does for my other characters, but it's it's really inconsistent. Oh, and now I have miscellaneous characters showing up. Anxio Abraham Lincoln, is that you? I've had enough surprises for a lifetime out here. Ah! Don't sneak up on me like that. I didn't mean to scare you? No. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have reacted like that. I'm really on edge lately. I hate surprises, and I suspect my friends are planning something for my birthday. Maybe you could help me. Do you think you could investigate and see if they're actually planning something? All I need is a photo of the evidence. I don't have a camera. I suppose a nice refuge like this is worth more hunger now. Well, the whole point of a surprise is to be surprised. From the joy of discovering new irradiated creatures to finding skeletons in fridges, I've had enough surprises for a lifetime. Out there, I don't have a choice. And here, if I can avoid being spooked, I'm going to avoid it. I just want some part of my life to feel in control. Well, I don't have a camera. I, uh, found this broken camera if you want it. It came with a note. You probably have to repair it, though. Out there, I don't have a choice. And here, if I can avoid being spooked, I'm going to avoid it. I just want some part of my life to feel in control. What? He just gives you the camera? That's- you have to find the camera as a random spawn. He just gives it to you? Okay. My camera doesn't work. You should see if you can repair that one in your inventory. I feel like there's gotta be a way. Oh. Okay. Well. Elements on these refugees. Huh. The pit must be a real hellhole. Let's, uh, let's go fix that camera. Give me a haircut before running off. <sighs> Rolling hills, shady trees, clear water. Appalachia almost makes a guy want to retire. Where's your tinker bench here, Skippy? You know, I didn't notice at the time, but does the Fanatic paint kind of use bits and pieces from the Union paint? Or is it... No, it's its own thing, really. Uh... It's something inspired by some power armors designs. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Normally you have to just get lucky and find that camera. Okay, then. Sure. Why did I make 20? Wait. Didn't I just say make 12 film and I made 20? Do I have a ammo smith? No. Don't have ammo factory. Why did I get? That's bizarre. Okay, is this gonna be like with? I did this with another character. It was a very interesting set piece. Oh, you're back. Have you changed your mind about helping me investigate the surprise? Any idea what to look for? I heard rumors of a surprise party, so it's likely there are folks in the refuge dressed for it. Please bring me a photo of the party goers. Oh, and please don't talk to them. Just take the photo. I don't want them to know that I'm doing this. Okay, for me it was around the corn. Yep, okay, it looks like it's the same for me, for my other character. Am I going crazy? That one. Mm, I could put a paint on this if I wanted to, but I don't. Oh, it is the same. Believe it or not, they were just sitting on the ground in the vault tech duffel bag. <laughs> it's clipping I'll never through here. Understand. Oh, shh. Someone's coming. Ugh.
Why does the clown come with a knife? Hmm. I think I hate that. Wait, why does... I never noticed the auto axe uses the... the chainsaws icon? That's interesting. Oh, they fixed the drop rate, or drop, plan drop thing, whatever, since I last did this with this character. You're back. Did you find any evidence get. of a surprise party? It's a surprise party. Here's a photo. Just what I was afraid of. Well, I know what to expect now. Thanks for getting that photo. Time to muster up some courage and head over. Is there actually, like, an interaction? I want to watch this. Why even bother helping people that can't help themselves? Yeah, these little side... They're not even side quests. They're just miscellaneous objectives. They just give you some caps and experience. There is a... Yeah, there's an achievement and a trophy, depending on your system, that you get for doing ten of them. A safe haven filled with people trying to help others? If you see it feels like anything that requires happen. attention, do let me know. Oh, look, I didn't actually watch this interaction with my other character because I was on a public server and I didn't want to... Wait around too long. Oh, he doesn't get stabbed by that clown. Why does the clown have a knife that they're twirling? God, that's the Cuddles clown outfit from the Atom Shop. That thing is creepy. And just using, they're just wearing a regular worn Surprise! clown. Surprise! Oh, wow. I had no idea. I am so surprised. Happy birthday. Here's to many more years of us all making it out here in this wild wasteland. Yeah. I hate that the, they'd snap to me like that. Clown? Clown? I have a feeling whoever designed this particular little event, set piece, whatever, had a, a, a very amusing time with the clown. Why is this? Who dropped their coffee mug? Alright, we can just skip through the dialogue for this because we've seen it already. Yep, yep, yep. What do you want? Plastic? Plastic. Okay. Let me go make some plastic and then scrap some plastic and then give it to her. At least I know now the uh this is here. <laughs> He's talking about outfits. Okay. Uh it would be bulk. It would be bulk plastic. I'm just gonna assume ten apiece. I don't even know what paints I have. Gardening and mole miner. I think this was a free one, and this is one I just got because it's it matches my other character's stuff. But plastic gives ten. Okay, perfect. In I go. Yeah, I know. It is a lot of work to maintain the property. Yeah, yeah, everyone has something to say. Okay, so give to you plastic. Here you go. Yes, plastic. Ed, goodbye. I'd love goodbye. And now let's go chat with Esme and her questionably French accent. Oh, okay, I can make more grenades. Bonjour! If it isn't my favorite sous chef. Yes, yes, we've done this before, Esme. Let's have you start by stirring the stew, which will help keep it from. Let me stir! Remember to continuously stir during the cooking process. Can I stir now? Thank you. Alright, where's all the stuff? Fantastic! Oh, it's all in the room. Convenient. Let's get the first of the ingredients and prepare them. There's carrots. 
There's the venison. And I would wager the tomatoes are in the... F Ooh, they're not in the fridge. There they are. Even easier. Or tomatoes. Maybe make them all show up on the table. I don't know why that's a thing, but... And chop the carrots. And pound the venison. I'll throw it in. Get ready, because I need to stir. Let's add more flavor with some salt and pepper now. Oh, only one of them. Okay, I guess I have to stir again. I was too quick. Alright, uh, pepper or salt. Little bowl, looking for a little bowl. There's a little bowl somewhere in here. There it is. Pepper. And the salt is over here. There's no problem too big to solve. I feel like they don't need to put a Orlando timer on this. But to be honest There's the salt. You, I'm not really sure why they're helping. It's 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 for the way they designed it, it's almost insulting. I don't know. Great work. Alright, Esme. Yes, yes, come on. Come on, hurry up. Now that you're stewing It's just impact. Here is now. You must make a choice. I'll do my best. Okay. We gave it to the settler last time, we'll give it to the raider this time. Wait, we did that, right? Uh, hold on. I can look. Yes. Oh, right, the raiders don't like. Can you. Hmm. Doing this daily, can you get the raiders to like you before you even meet Rose? Damn refuge. What? You think I'm some kind of pansy that needs help? Huh? I'm just kidding. I'll take your fancy stew. Oh, you can, I guess. Oh, but it's... It's some hard work. Oof. Still, that is kind of amusing. I can't wait until dinner. I shoveled up. Oh, we're doing another Rucker? I thought we'd be doing a Skippy quest. Good to see you patient in last night none of us had okay cranberry so, bog uh oh where am i going in the cranberry no. bog anything you're able oh am i going to hms medical oh no watoga medical Helping people hmm mission. that's a little difficult just a nice bonus. uh okay we'll go to the civic center um yeah with my other characters every other day it like rotates i'll have a rucker and then a skippy quest the next day and then a rucker quest the next day Right? It's going one, two, one, two, one. Yeah, I think so. I guess it's just it is just random, and I've just had really lucky rolls. I'm out of here. Ugh. Having to go through with Toga before everyone likes me here is not ideal. This will be inside a building. Nope, nope. Go in before something gets built in the machine. This place is just ghouls and Wendy goes. I'll talk to you some other time, Chief. Keep your thrusters on cool. I guess cool your jets. Noise? Wait, where are the... I was gonna say, where's the other ghouls and such? Hello? Oh, hello! Ooh, and you're legendary! Is this the building? There was a trick. I think it was this building. Basically, you go to the rooftop. I forget how it worked. Like, you would go to the rooftop and come down here, and there could be a legendary very frequently. It was like the early days of Fallout 76. It was a very. It was a viable way to farm for legendaries, besides nuking places. Okay, and now it's back downstairs. How come I only ran into one ghoul, though? That's unusual. Are you alive? You were alive. Interesting. Why are there 
Why are those robots in here, come to think of it? They're kind of... In the middle of nowhere. I want to see if I'm remembering this right. So you would go up here. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. I need to see something next time I find a power armor station. Can I add a jetpack to this? Or is it... I, is the jetpack... Do you have to unlock the base jetpack plan for armor first and then you can do it? I think it might be like that. Why did I find the the markers are really like bugged in custom games? Are you hostile? Okay, yeah, you would, I believe this was the building. You would come up here and go back in and out and in and out. So there's a power armor here. There's a power armor plan right here. Ooh, that's not a bad one to find randomly. Calibrated shocks are best in slot for legs. All right. Yeah, you would, you would come in out here. Or you would start here, go inside, kill the, it was either, it's either a Wendigo or a glowing one. Come back out. Uh, quit. I don't think I even had to come back out. You might have just had to quit. Basically, load back up again, go back in, rinse and repeat, and you could... You could get legendaries pretty easily. I don't know if it still works, because there's just better ways to do it. Like, I by do it, I mean get legendary gear. Heard you were out there giving us the Why did the protection say spirits so weird? Here you go. You've done the I do like that you just need to turn it into the doctor and not go back to Rucker to hand it in. It's it's very convenient. Let's go real quick. I wanna see my I wanna test my thoughts on jetpacks. Cause this is Ultra Sight armor that I'm wearing. And uh getting the Ultra Sight jetpack sucks. Let's see. When did I get that? Oh. Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, you have to... Wow, I know a lot of jetpack plans. I have to get the jetpack plan. Oh, that sucks. Ugh, again? My head is gone? My head is gone. Okay, my head is back. That sucks, but oh well. Alright, let's go do the other one. Ashes to Fire. I'm... I... I like this mission so much more than the other one. And it's not even just because of the difficulty of the end part of the other one. I cannot, for the life of me, wrap my head around the layout of the foundry area in Union Dews. It just, I can't, it, it's just bouncing off my brain like a ping pong ball. This place, I have the whole layout down for the most part. Touching down. Danilo! From what I've seen... in various avenues of discussion for this game. Dan Danilo is the most liked character from the Pit expansion. People also like uh, Lennox as well, but let's see, which role we've got... Oh, this, okay. I know this one enough, I've done this one enough times that I know like there's two variations to the layout. Not the layout, but like priorities. This is probably gonna make me go get masks and meds and stuff. There's a few variants. There's this one. There's one that you have to go clean up toxic waste. What's the other one? 
the other one you have to... Oh, wait, this might actually be the one where you have to defend us. No, no. Well, we'll just see when we talk to Dindalo. Hey, D, what's up? There you are. Got some advice to help you survive out here. I'll take any advice I can get. Whoa! See, you've got some radiation gear. If that was a precaution where you come from, here it's your saving grace. Wear it like a second skin. Does he have a custom breather mask? I never put attention. Their flesh is like ours. They crawl on all fours and spit acid. Get back before sundown. Trust me on that. I'll explain later. We're hitting the sanctum today, but we need to make some preparations first. You ready for instructions? Uh, oh. Nice to meet you too. If you need confirmation on the right contact, I'm Danilo. Otherwise, my identity is not important to the mission. Neither are pleasantries. Tell me about the mission first. What's our goal here? We're hitting the Sanctum, a former Union safe house taken over by fanatics. But we need to make some preparations out here in the trench before we head inside. I hope that's enough information for you to go on. I'm not used to working with others. And in my experience, the less people know, the better. Okay. What about the trench? It's a radioactive wasteland that eats up anyone stupid enough to wander I'm not panning down, it's doing it automatically, by the way. It's near impossible to get out alive if you don't know what you're doing. It makes it a perfect prison. The fanatics realized that. And they're taking full advantage of it. You have any radiation gear I could use? Very clever. You already got what you need. Don't mooch for extra handouts. Wonder if he actually gives you something. Who are you? How'd you end up working with the I'm union? I'm an independent party. I have knowledge that can help people, so I decided to use it. Made an arrangement with a union member I knew. They sent me go-getters confident enough to risk their lives here. I help them rescue civilians. And no, I'm not getting paid. I have my own reasons for doing this. Hmm. Okay, what are we doing? Anyone navigating the trench needs gear. Oh, we're doing masks and meds. Okay. Masks and meds. The fanatics are the best equipped people in the trench. A labor yard nearby you can raid for supplies. There's a hidden drop box in the yard as well. Deposit the supplies there and I'll redistribute them to escapees. You're yeah, on your own now. the other you variants I know of I'll contact you involve you cleaning out uh, radioactive waste and removing like trog waste? I don't know how you describe it. They're two separate missions. Are you going to explode if I hit you? <laughs> you are. Okay. I like that that happens so frequently, I just don't understand why. Oh, it's a plasma grenade. No, that's not a plasma grenade. What is that? I can't even pick it up. I don't think that's a plasma grenade, isn't that like... Oh, there's fanatics right there. Hello, gentlemen. Oh! Let's struggle. They, I understand they, they gave these characters voice lines to make them, like, impactful, but the dialogue is a little too long for what has now become a corpse. Are you a scout? Just a reader. this. And that. Oh, there's a scout. Come here, I need your stuff. Thank you. I love... I can't get over how much I love the sound effect for Ricochet. It's so fun. Let's see. I think there's a locked... Wow, that Ricochet took off a third of his health. Where's that locked uh, area? Is it not here? Ow. Oh, I didn't favor that. I didn't favor my meds. One second, I'll be right with you. I did favor it. Why is it not? Why? Wait, hold on one second. Why is Big Boy not shooting me? Did I confuse Big Boy because I was wearing the armor? I mean, obviously, that's not a thing, but why was. 
Why was that happening? It was um, that <laughs> you saw that like, his AI just broke completely. He didn't know what to do. Oh, here's the locked. Uh, let's just unlock this. Oops. Right about there. Do you mind? I'm in the middle. Can they get killed just from ricochet? I don't come in here too often. It's not worth the effort. Usually you can find enough meds out there. So I just need two more. Oh, there you are. I didn't even see you there. That one. Need one more. Perfect. Yep. Oh. I'm so used to having my crazy jumps. I keep forgetting to enable them on this server. So I don't need to use the mutation. Exploding Radroach? Spawn here. Basically, every body of water you come across either has mole rats or frogs. Drug. There he is. And those little bastards are why you want to bring poison protection to this place. They will eat right through you. Not airtight. Can't I move my camera? And the unfortunate victims they're holding hostage. Sorry to say it's not gonna be any more pleasant down there than it is up here. Let me know when you've steeled yourself. Uh what's what should I expect down there? Darkness, drugs, fear, death. It's quiet down there. Until it's not. My best advice to you. Carefully. Hmm, Keep I don't know if I'll be able to do all the side objectives with this one. Hear the screams. Remember, they're not yours. Not yet. Can you tell me anything about the Sanctum? It's an old cathedral. It used to belong to the Union. It was a safe haven from the dangers of this place. When the fanatics discovered it, they took over. Turned it into a labor camp. Now, there's no worse place to be in the is there really no other way in? Not unless you're already a ghoul and don't mind swimming through a sea of chemical waste. I know the trench. It's impossible. Are you coming with me? Not beside you, no. I don't work like that. But I'll be nearby. Someone has to keep an eye on what's happening in the area. While you're knee deep in gunfire, I'm ensuring you still have a path in. And a way out. Okay, ready. The trogs are a major threat to anyone who gets sent down there. 
Even those protected by cage bars are tormented by the screams of less fortunate victims. I developed an explosive that's effective against Trogdus. Oh, the Trogdusite version. Trogdus okay. Pick up a canister, throw it in, kaboom. Lots of dead Trogs. One last thing. There's a survivor here. Oh, now I can pan Ava around. Rose. I wouldn't normally recommend getting involved with anyone, but Ava has something important to say. Consider being an audience before you head out. Okay. We must not lose hope. Hello, Miss Ava. Hello, sweetie. May I ask what brought you to this troubled place? What are you doing here? The Lord brought me to this place. All right, you're super religious, I forget. to the sanctuary of the cathedral when it was a sanctuary. When the fanatics came storming in, I should have died then. I no longer have the strength to endure such violence. But God opened the way for me. He averted their eyes so that I could escape. I stay to pass on his kindness to all those who make it through here. Uh, how are you feel? Uh, how did you end up here? Once, I the lost. So okay, so this is the same. Their eyes turned away. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Was I guided here? I was guided. Okay. So you just walked away, and the fanatics let you just like that? Their attention was turned elsewhere to the young and dangerous perhaps it matters not how it happened what matters is that i am here to help to comfort to provide hope in any way i can you don't sound well how are you feeling oh, sweetheart my body may meet its time, but my soul is eternal. I have lived a long and healthy life on Earth. If the dangers of this place speed my passage to heaven, let it be so. Until then, I will do all that I can for those I leave behind. Okay. Uh, is there something I can help you do? Me? Darling, no. I have everything I could need. But those who suffered and even perished under the cruelty of the fanatics, they need our compassion. Find their tracking collars, sweetheart. Bring them to me so I may lay their souls to rest. If we cannot respect the memory of the dead, then there is... No hope for the Can living. we maybe pick something besides their slave collars to respect them by? Oh, bless you. Bring me what you can, and we will say our farewells. What do you think of the fanatics? I believe they are suffering. They think themselves beyond salvation, so they march ever deeper into perdition. That is what Danilo thought. What he thinks, and now he has saved hundreds of lives. I've spoken to others, given them gifts, scarves of pure white. They may yet be convinced it is not too late. If only, if only I could... <coughs> Forgive me, sweetie. What was I All right, saying? I'll talk to them. Oh, I don't even have to. God be with you, child. Okay, so just like the other mission, one of the objectives... Ooh. One of the objectives... Oh, right, there's actually, like, lore if you take the time to really explore these areas, but... You're a little hard-pressed to do so. Um, yeah. One of the objectives is actually split between this area and the one... The second area. In that you need to find this one is find slave collars, which I think I hear drugs. I think s the slave collars can only be in areas where fanatics are. They're not like in the middle of of uh, 
trog zones. Okay, so this doesn't look like there's any nearby here. And it's the same thing. They're just in the map some... Ooh, minigun. They're just in the map somewhere, and you just... When you get close enough, it'll ping on your map. Oh, you're alive. Oh, wait, did I see one for a second? No. Let's see. I'd like to get maybe two or three from this area before you go into the next one. Sometimes you get lucky if there's a a pile of them can spawn in one of the areas here. Oh. I guess I could hack the turrets if I wanted to. Um, you can find a pile of dead bodies. Not unlike that, but with unmutated humans. And there'll be like three or four collars just in that group. I know this spot. I came to this spot a lot on the first day to do troglodyced. Because I unlocked that auto axe pretty quick and I just went, screw it, I'll just do that trophy now so I don't I don't make other people suffer while I'm trying to do a trophy in a mission. That's why I hate I hate I hate achievements and trophies that have to be done in multiplayer environments. Because then you end up with people who are just doing that and not actually playing the objective. That's like you would see in Assassin's Creed and some of the Call of Duty stuff. It's like, do a thing in this type of match with this many people and blah blah blah. And it's like, okay, well now everyone's going to be doing that instead of actually playing the game. So, thanks for that. Oh, I think that actually the pile might be somewhere in this area. If it's one. It's like up here, I think. Oh, here it is. Here's the pile I was thinking of. So this one has two. Looks like. And there's another one right nearby. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Who's shooting at me? Oh. I do have to admit, I was extremely wary of the pit when I saw all the commentary on the PTS. It's okay. You know what? For repeatable content, it's a little long, and I do wish that one of the daily challenges every day, instead of clear daily ops, was clear daily ops or uh, an expedition. Because, I mean, let's be honest, not a lot of people are playing daily ops at this point. But, it's not bad. I am looking forward, however, to Nuka World on tour because Those damn things don't find me. not only do I love Nuka stuff Watch. in Fallout games, it sounds legitimately fun. It's got new events, a new world boss. I just, I do kind of wish for, oh, how'd you get up there? It would be nice to have a quality of life update in this game where once you've launched maybe X amount of nukes, it's a much more expedited process. Like, I get it, we have to sit through all of that to make it really, like, impactful, but once you've done that enough times, the process is just tedious. It's not even hard. Bear traps? Did I not pass through this? I thought I passed through this area. Oh, what are my specials? So I got sixes across the board except for the last three. And I assume none of my... Okay, okay. So endurance and charisma, as long as it's not either of those... Because the way... Okay. There's an NPC you gotta find, and you gotta talk to them. And they have... Every time you do it, it's random. Every expedition, they'll pick two uh, specials that can be for the check. It's random which pair, but the pairs are always the same. 
I think I'm okay because I don't think charisma and endurance are a pair. I think. Maybe. Alright, I know there's some very easy spots to find collars in this area. Although I'm from a different angle. Um, just in case, do I have any chem? I don't. Do I have any food? I'll eat that. Why not? Oh, I guess I had from last time, too. Okay. Uh, so... Oh, okay, I'm over here. Let me go this way. Actually, if I only need two... Hmm. Some very easy spots in here. Oh, there's one right here. Perfect. Yeah. I've hidden troglocyte around the tunnels. They're a bit hefty, so you won't be able to do any hundred meter sprints while you're carrying one. One more warning. The trogs have come to recognize the scent of the bombs. Do you have one? Look at running. So make use of it quick. I don't like that it gives you like a weird visual effect. Yeah, hey, level up. Uh Oh, I think I just passed another body in there. Troglicide! Do I still have on me? That's weird, I thought... You only get one at a time. Okay. Let's see. I think I thought I saw a marker show up while I was in this area, but I guess not. Hmm. Okay, so that's. Let's go this way. This is where I came in from, right, right. And we'll go this way. Sometimes this one has a collar. Nope, no collar there. Trog? Or oh, trog. Ow! Knock it off. There's one. No, wait, that's where I'm going. Duh. Let's see if you go this way. I mean, the easiest one is there's one almost always inside the fridge. This way. Blue room, and there's one... Oh! In the tub instead of the fridge. So there can be one in there. There's gonna be electric traps now, yeah. There can be one in this fridge. I thought I had the auto unlock. I guess I don't. And then boom. And there can be one down there. Oh, let's continue. And you can see Danilo without a mask on. I hate that I can't... Oh, I guess I can't. Oh, there's also sometimes... Is it this one? No. One of the prisons, I think, is the cell below this one. There can be a guy in a wall that has a collar. Hello, Danilo. Past here is the cathedral. The fanatic's favorite prison camp. The captives here... They get beaten down into shells. Then they're sent elsewhere. This is the reality of the bit. For ordinary people. If you're not strong or cruel enough, everything but your life is stripped from you. What should I expect inside? Fanatics. Lots of them. And the captives. Human husks who will hardly react if you throw a grenade at their feet. Best to ignore them for now. We've done what we can for the folks underground, and we'll come back. 
Do the fanatics and trogs coexist? Hardly. It's more of a dysfunctional parasitic relationship. Any captives with the bright idea to sneak past the fanatics are dissuaded by the trogs. Or not. And they're torn to shreds on their way out. In return for the extra security detail, the fanatics take on some occupational hazards. Is there anything more we can do for the captives? This isn't a heroic rescue mission. It's reality. We do what's viable and leave the rest. I know it's cruel, but if we're going to do anything at all, we have to work within our limitations. What happened to your mask? That mask is a necessity outside. But it obscures vision. Best to keep my peripherals clear when I can. Yeah, you wear a hood. How do you know so much? Don't make me say it. There's only one way to know these parts as well as I do. Only one group with that much freedom in the pit. I can never change my past. But I can use it for better means. What's my objective? There's a pipe organ on the upper floor. Oh, of the, the defense one. It has some pre-recorded. This hits. one's buggy. Playing that music suddenly should create chaos, enough to give some captives an opportunity to escape. Once you start the music, hold the floor for as long as you can, keeping it clear of fanatics. I've had this if one glitch out ahead, before. You'll emerge right in the middle of the cathedral. Instead, I recommend sneaking in through the catacombs on the right. It's your call. I'll unlock the gate now. Just don't die. Okay. Yeah, this one has a progress bar, and sometimes the progress bar just gets stuck. You gotta leave the expedition and go back in. But, you know, I'm sure it'll eventually get patched in a few months. By the time people are not playing this anymore. They should do... Now, they have stuff in, like, daily ops with, like, double rewards and stuff like that. They should do, like, weekends where you get double stamps from expeditions or, like, maybe a week where you can get two, two drops, two dedicated drops, whatever. Alright, let's go find the guy I need to talk to first, because he's upstairs, typically. Oh, you see that one dot that's not down? That's our boy. Or girl. It can be either. Okay, so we go this way. These mannequins are horrifying. There they are. What the hell do you want, Jagoff? Oh, nice. I passed all these. The fanatics will put down any sign of doubt. You're better off leaving while you can. What? You really think they noticed? But I was just starting to get the hang of things. It's not too late for you. Leave the fanatics. Go find Eva Rose. So Ava sent you, did she? Okay, I'll hear her out. Maybe there's more than one path that works for me. I'll see you around. Maybe. Okay, and that's done. Today's a day. I gotta prove myself. All right, should be some boys and girls down there. Man, it's hard to see in here. I'm hitting the barrier, I guess. That was a weird one. Let me just turn on the music, because then it'll put... They could have just made so you use the organ. Ugh. Could do without the carnival music. Come on, hit them.
the other two variants of this are to protect Danilo while he's doing stuff. And... Oh, blow up terminals in the area. Like, there's usually one right there. Oh, it's already blown up. Yeah. There's a set number of terminals in this little area that can be active in that version, and you have to go blow them up. This is loud. Uh, I was gonna say, is no one spawning? No one's spawning upstairs. Or downstairs. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the final Bowser fight music in Mario 64. All right, hold on. How do I? I have to lower that audio. It's so loud. Is that effects? Did wait? Didn't I lower effects? I thought I did this before. Well, that might be too low. That might be too low. Let's do it like that. Alright. You, 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 you. That's another thing. They still, all these guys still mention something about a boss whenever they die. Who was the boss? Who is the boss? Is that going to be a third expedition? Is that going to be a quest line? All these questions and more. Who knows if they'll ever be answered. Alright, around here there should be a, a crowned... A difficult... On, oh, the right, the creepy statue thing. Actually, we've got time. Let's go look at it. Hmm. That's reminiscent of there's that really freaky statue in Fallout 3's pit. This is like a mess of wires. I thought a, I thought a difficult enemy spawns at one point. Am I just misremembering? We are done. We've got one more thing on our hit list today. The foreman. They're in charge of operations around here. Removing them equals chaos for the fanatics. By this time, the foreman will have no choice but to confront you directly. Get ready. Alright. Stage one. And fight some guys. It's killing time! And then again. Oh, look at you! You're dead. Stop talking. Danilo, you're not gonna chase. Oh, there you go. For you. It's time to get out before you lose your chance. Ooh, now, now it was time for running. Oh, I hope I. I hope this character has enough sprint juice in them to make what I need to do now. Again, this 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 uh, expedition is much easier to solo than the other, except this part can be a little tricky if you get turned around. I've got bad news for you. Red storm. And everything in the trench. Okay, good. There's a close one now. right here. Anyone cut out during this time isn't likely to survive. If you really wanted to be a hero, you could take stock of the area and offer help. But the smart move is to book it straight back to the landing pad. Your choice. That's true. Oh, I wish I had better jumps. That might make this really difficult. Alright, so there's one over here. I'm just gonna ignore the trogs. Where are you? You are right there. Are you the feeble? Okay, good. 
another one this way. This is not a this is not an ideal light layout. I hope this is the middling one. It's gonna be difficult to get to the other one in time. Where are you? The middling? Oh good, you're the middling. Okay. I should be able to get to the third one with little difficulty this way. Oh, but this spot is where I get turned around a lot. Uh-oh. They almost, they almost have a voice like, uh, Dramora from Skyrim. Hmm, I don't know that I can go this... Oh, wait, yes I can. Exploding Rad Roach? Ex hold on. No, no Exploding Rad Roach. I don't know why I stopped to do that. What? Is that alien blast around? It sure is. Okay, this part. So you gotta go through here... I got lucky that the resilient one is the last one. I gotta go back down this way. Excuse me, sir. Are you... You're the one that's like in a train car, right? There we go. There's a safe place nearby. I'll head there right away. And that's it. All side objectives done. Well, I guess I have to exploding rad roach. Damn. You never know how much you miss something until it's gone. Yeah, I just need to go turn the collars into Miss Ava. Man, they could have made these trogs real bastards, like these glowing ones. They could have given them, like, the ability to spit projectiles, and you'd be really screwed doing this part. The balancing is not bad. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, actually. Hold on. Let me go talk. Actually, if, if I go to Ava, I think they have a defense system there that'll take care of most of the ones following me. It is a little tedious that you have to go all the way back, unless you're brave and you talk to her before you go, but that's that's risky business. Yeah, now they're going to shoot the trogs that come running in. Or they won't. Can that guy actually die? I wonder. Alright. Miss Ava. The Holy Spirit burns bright with you, my child. I collected these collars. The names on these collars. Ooh. I will remember them well. A little stuttery that Thanks to you, dearie. These poor souls need not walk to oh. heaven alone. I found Truly, someone who decided to leave the fanatics. What a blessing. Maybe one day I will see their face again, and we can speak of all they have still ahead of them. Everyone has it inside themselves. The will to do the right thing. Sometimes they need only a helping hand, someone to believe in them. Nope, they got him. Okay. Morley, I guess, I think Morley can't die, but that other dude looks like he very much can die. Alright, time to go. And, I mean, I guess that's it for the pit right now. They had more, uh, expeditions. I can always revisit it, but... It's, uh...
I was wondering why that those mole rats were dying on me. I forgot that this armor has a little bit of damage reflection on it. Poison damage. One of the most useless damage types in the game. Apparently the uh, auto axe has a super busted mod. The uh, electric one. Because it's a separate category from energy damage. So it just it just eats things alive. Unfortunately, I want my auto X of the fire mod so I can use it for healing. That's probably fine. Into the sanctum and back with your soul intact. Not many can say they've done that. Nice rhymes. Noticed you picked up some civilians on your way here. It's more than you needed to do. I'm sure they're appreciative. Uh, what will you do now? Don't you know it's bad manners to ask a shadow where it's going? Shadows of the air when the light can't reach. They give the people a place to hide, a place to grieve. Sometimes, a place to see their blade and wait for an opportunity. So the storm happens every night? Is no one going to shoot these things? Oh, now someone's shooting? I'm heading back to Appalachia. Oh, this lady's on it. Get him, lady. Get him. Get his ass. Get him. Bang, you're dead. Okay. Oh, Lennox. You ready to get airborne? Are you feeling all right out here? Well, let's see. Two arms, two legs, a head full of good ideas. Bert's looking sharp, too. Looks like the trench ain't got nothing on Lennox. Oh, uh, okay. That raises an interesting point, actually. It's been a hell of a day, Lennox. And you can tell me all about it when we get. If back. Lennox is immune to the hazards and radiation of the pit, Hop in and I'll along with what's implied up. with Orlando, could they really both be some kind of like synth equivalent in this game? Like Enclave made artificial human robot things? I wonder. This is a blood cleanser. It's not a great one. I got a drill. I did get a drill. That's a fun one. <laughs> if that's level 50, maybe I'll mod it. There's no, there's no mods for the drill, right? I don't think there are. But, uh, yeah, that's it for the pit. Um, next episode, we'll go back to the main stuff. We've got some nukes to launch, so, uh, yeah. Thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll have the next stuff up real soon. Oh, when did my webcam crash? Damn it. Ah, of course. Anyways, I'll see you around. Bye.